Okay, so welcome to this brief uh, code review of the ALU circuit. So what we can see on the screen now is uh, the module uh, that comprises the ALU itself. So we can see here the, uh, the decoder that uh, splits basically the input operation in, and sends it to the, the specific circuit. We can see after uh, the XORer, the ORer, the ANDER, the NOTER, all the different uh, circuits followed by the corresponding enabler. If we go uh, a bit uh, further down in the file, here we have the shift right uh, circuit. Uh, we can see also the shift left, uh, the nodder, the ander. Uh, that's here, the aura as well. So these are very easy to implement. It's just basically stitching together a bunch of gates. Uh, using uh, using in this case a for loop, um, the XOR and the compare circuits are a bit uh, more complicated, but uh, it's just basically uh, to line up the proper wires and you get everything working properly. Uh, and uh, finally, we have the adder here, uh, where we hook up uh, the different uh, add sub circuits together. And uh, ultimately, uh, the zero uh, module here uh, implemented just like in the book. So all of these sub-circuits together comprise the ALU. What we use in the demo is the top circuit that we saw before. Now, just one thing I want to, to mention about this. Uh, this is by no means the, the most uh, uh, optimal way to implement the ALU on an FPGA. There uh, are inside the FPGA, um, there are circuits and components that already have uh, arithmetic capabilities inside of them. And uh, the, this, describing an ALU this way uh, structurally is really a long uh, winded effort and really not something that we'd be doing today if you were to work with the FPGA. The, the FPGA sorry. Uh, the, the tools that are available on the understand edition, uh, division, all these operations, shifting, and they know how to implement it on the board for you. The idea here is not to make an efficient design. It's really to stick to John's uh, uh, de design as closely as possible to see if it can work as it described and find out what its uh, limitations are, if any. Uh, so thank you for... Uh, for sticking with me through this uh, ALU code review. I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about uh, memories. Thank you.